Hello, Princess Casserole here with another jewelry unbagging. Um, I have this bag here, and uh, this one is marked 19.99. I believe this was one of the ones that I got half off, so it would have been about ten dollars for this bag. Um, so hopefully, I have some good things in here. I have my fingers crossed. So, the first thing that I got was this lovely brooch. There is one tiny Aurora Borealis rhinestone missing there. Hopefully I can fix that. It is prong set. Um, but there are, looks like milk glass, cabochons on it. It's not marked, but that it's really pretty. Um, and then we have this necklace. It's a little it's just a hook, so it is definitely unmarked. Um, well, we'll see. That one will have to get cleaned up. We'll see what it looks like. Okay. So, this looks like it's some mother of pearl, and this is what the one side looks like, and it looks like there should have been three strands here. So, this one is most likely, um, that's what the back looks like going to be taken apart and see if I can't figure out a fun way to reuse this pendant. Then we have a Christmas brooch. No signature. Oops. <laughs> throwing stuff around here. Something in a bag. Um, and this is marked Avon. And it's a pin with a little parrot. That's cute. And we have another Christmas brooch. And I don't see any rhinestones missing on this. And that's the back. It is um, not signed, marked anywhere. And then I have this brooch. And this has one of the, I think it's a C hook clasp. And this one says made in Czechoslovakia. So it's got all of these ones. It looks like most of these are there too. It looks like some of the leaves have fallen out. But that's a pretty cool, cool brooch. Oh, and here's another one. And that one is Mamzelle. M-A-M-S-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And this one is a B. There's also an enamel brooch. This one's a very muted color, but you know, it's nice to have them in different different colors. There's really not a lot of wear or anything. So hopefully this cleans up a tiny bit and it's a nice little enamel brooch. So we have this earring and it is a very light plastic earring. That's neat. And there was this necklace, which is broken, that was in there as well. It's also <laughs> hair on that necklace. Um, this little bangle. And then there's a bluebird of happiness pin. Wear a bluebird of happiness to cheer and brighten your day. 
I always throw these bags away just because. Uh, princess accessories. So there's another single earring in here. Um, well, that's a nice hair comb. So nice uh, tortoise shell, and I say that as a color. Um, I would imagine this is just hard plastic that this is made out of. So, but it is nice with the pearls here. And something, something different in here. Um, this one is kind of coming apart a little bit. So I most likely will take some of the beads here if they are usable. And the clasp. And just farm it. There, we'll put that with the big guy. This one also has a friend. So we have a bracelet. No markings or anything. It's kind of kind of cheap and definitely needs a bath. May not clean up so well. There's a button type earring. It's another screw back. There is a little lady gnome. Imagine that is. So I have this bracelet. Uh, there are seams in here, so just just a. But it's on uh, colored stretchy, so I don't know, maybe eighties, nineties bracelet. Fun colors, the gray and the I like the ivory and the black. It's different. So this one had a photo in the back with the guy's picture was in the back of this. And I think this is one of those um, Hollycraft. I believe that that's how you call it. And this is actually an earring. And I think I see the other one in here. Oh, those are beautiful. So that's what the back looks like. Those are beautiful. That, that makes me happy. I do like those. I don't think they're worth a ton of money or anything, but they're nice. Sandy Claws and this lovely brooch. So that's what the back looks like. It's an interesting construction. I like that there's like the silver with the gold and rhinestones on here. Actually, most of the rhinestones look like they're on there. So it's just one of these gold balls that are missing. That's a really neat pen brooch. There is a cute little necklace. The necklace is rather cheap, so, but I like the, the pendant, so I might just keep the pendant and put it on a chain that's a little nicer. Uh, there is one of these brooches, it's got a lot of hair on it. Sh little dust bunny. If it's not a dust bunny, I don't want to know what, <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. There's one missing on there. I see these often. Um, And a sweater clip. 
And this has the plastic that's meant to look like uh, coral that isn't coral on it. And I'm hoping that the other one is buried inside of here somewhere. Oh, that's pretty. This looks like uh, resin, like epoxy with glitter. And maybe some foil in there. That's really, really beautiful. There is a little tiny rhinestone bracelet. No marks. He's a little smoosh deed. I wonder if I can unsmoosh him. The one in the middle here. Bracelet. Not terrible quality actually on that one. And then there's a birdie. I wonder if anyone if anyone would ever be interested in like some of the the bag that I have with a whole bunch of things like that. Like the doves and angels and things like that. I have a lot of those. It's a set here. Um, I don't know. It's probably unmarked. Not super exciting. Oh, there's an Avon. And he is missing all of his cabochons. Oh, and there's a guitar. So this is one of those faux damascene pieces. It's not stamped uh, Spain or anything. It's probably not, it's only three strings. I don't know what that one's called with three strings. Or if that's even inaccurate. It's a very thin abalone ring. No, nothing inside. It's a little ring. A butterfly. Those are pretty. I don't know. I was just trying to figure out if they're glass or plastic. I'm not, not sure. Oh, there's a leaf. Ouch. It's a good thing I'm up on my shots. Because I am constantly getting poked with brooches. So that's what this one looks like. It's pretty actually. It's nice for fall and spring. Let's see. Oh, 925, so this one's silver. It would be nice if the other one was in there, because, you know, see, for casserole. Or Carla, which is my actual name. And there is this little rhinestone ring. Oh, those would be a pain to reset. They're so tiny. So, so tiny. Oh, there's another of the... Um, a faux, faux damascene clip earring. This one's broken. A little clip on this guy's gone. So I wonder if I can try to take the, the clip and the beads on this one. We'll see. Is a penny from Cocoa Beach. And just uh, another single earring. There's nothing on that one. Single earring.
There is a heart brooch. Let's see, this guy works. Oh, so just a gold tone bracelet. This one is bracelet heavy, oddly enough. Usually they are not. So this one goes like that. Oh, look at that. That one says 925 on it. And it's got an and ampersand C symbol. And it is not magnetic. I know that is not 100% for a test, but um, I hope it would be. It's pretty. This one is <laughs> this one is crazy magnetic. Uh, so just a bangle. Again, I, I look because some of, sometimes you can say Monet or something like that, and you wouldn't you wouldn't expect it to be old. Um, Birkender, and that is a angel. Okay, I'm going to do a big lot with the angels and things like that and the crosses so that somebody who really loves those things um, can buy them up and enjoy them. So there's a little bow. I love bows. I've always loved bows. Oh, look at this. It is a C for Carla or casserole. No signature maker's mark on this one. Oh, and look at that one. It does have a rhinestone C and it is not missing any of the rhinestones. And we have a flag pin. That is something else I can do eventually is do a lot with the patriotic things because um, I also find a lot of those in here. Oh, so we have a pair of these ones. This one has a signature but I can't tell what it is and it's just a regular button. And it is badly greened. Put that away from the other ones. So let's see if this one works. It does. This one definitely needs a bath, just like the other one. Oh, and look at this. There is a nice little bald eagle on there. Speaking of patriotic, but I think um, I'm going to give my husband that one. Says I'm a hoarder. He's more than happy to take some of these things off of my hands, especially the cat things. So then we have a beaded necklace here. It's not signed. Sometimes when you get them at the powwows and things, they are signed. So I don't know if that's something that you would just buy at Kmart or something that somebody made. Can't really tell. It looks... I'm not sure. I wouldn't beg a guess at this point. And this one's missing a couple. It's coral, but I think... I think I'm, I can't remember. I think I might have one of those upstairs. I can't remember. Um, this is an Avon ring. Single earring. That's a pretty hard brooch. Just plain and simple.
And then we have an elephant cloisonne style pendant here with a, looks like it's got, I don't know. I'm not going to guess. I'm not going to guess. I'm probably going to be wrong. And a little uh, ring. Again, I'm putting together some things with some, some children's jewelry in it. Hopefully to give some of my friends, children, um, like a little play up box, dress up box. Uh, this one does not have a maker's mark. It's a nice little bracelet. Ooh, these are cold. These almost seem like a milk glass earrings. And this says Japan, I believe, on the back of it. Yeah. Japan. Here's another clothes a style single earring. This one is not in the greatest shape. So we got a ring. Oh, it did say something there. I can't tell if it says 925. Oh, the little ring. That's a pretty brooch. And this one says Boucher. <laughs> Sorry, B O U C A G R 6839. Icing. So this would be like, uh, I think, for <sighs> sensitive solutions. I think they're body jewelry. Oh, this is pretty. Looks like a, looks like moon glow to me, kind of. Hoop earring. Nice and shiny. This one is as well. Oh, this one says Hong Kong. See, another one for that lot. And this one is the brooch. The little sea glass. Um, that goes with the earring. Oop. Single earring. I can't remember if some of these I may or may not have upstairs. All right, this one has 18 carat electro plate. That's what this one says. And then there is this ring, and that one says 18K MGE, which I think is also like a similar plating or gold filled, something like that. Not real gold, aka a little brooch. And we also have, oh, this was expensive at first, $10. Scarf clip. Well, this one's neat. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. You guys can see <laughs> what it says. That's different. And the cute the other um, heart brooch. Body jewelry, see, this one says body jewelry. <sighs> Glad it's in the package is all I have to say. 
Another earring. Oh. And here is the other clip. It's nice that all of them had the pearl on them. So we have a set of those. And then we have a set of these clips. Those are huge. Huge. Uh, Casanova College. And Leaf. Get that after. So then there's this brooch. I think there was an earring similar to that that we had as well. Yeah, there is. But we didn't find the other one. Sometimes these uh, rollbacks get stuck. Um. Hmm. Is that tree? Nothing written on the inside. Pin. I'll probably go to my husband. And this is just like a pendant. It's got nothing on it. Earring. CDPHP. A health insurance company in the area for those of you who are wondering and this one looks like it was um, made by somebody B so B's and C's so here is a nice bracelet. It is not marked anywhere inside. And the clip looks like this. Just like a hook. So that's what that one looks like. Again, I know it doesn't mean anything, but it's not magnetic. Very pretty. I think it's called Cantile. I don't, I um, am probably pronouncing it incorrectly. I don't know um, like what that might go for or be worth. It, it is very pretty though. So that one's kind of exciting to find. Here's another Christmas pin. And none of the rhinestones were missing in that. Oh, it's like it's um, you almost get something and then it's, it's like no. So this, is those weird beads in there um, that we can put with the kids stuff. Uh, another moon glow. This one's got a bite taken out of it. Oh, look at that. So we do have the other one so that I can replace it on here for the sweater clip. No markings or anything. They're just little sweater clips. And just in case you're curious, that's what the back looks like. And then there is uh, like an abalone mother of pearl pendant. And a mother of pearl type ring. 
are nice. The button earrings. I could like sell one of almost every color at this point. Hmm. And then we have pirate earrings. I mean, not earrings, pirate uh, rubber band. <laughs> Goodness. <sighs> oh. Albany County GOP. Oh, that's pretty far from here. I mean, I'm west, uh, Western New York. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what this is. Got an eagle. And looks like that on the back. If anyone knows what that is, let me know because I'd be curious to know. Clippies. So we have the spring. It's one of those ones that is kind of adjustable. It's um, a little worn, so it's, uh, it's obviously not gold. There's one of those ones that looks like a chain for your drain. Just a little pendant. It's cut out. And then we have a Florida de -lis pin. Another keychain. An earring missing something. Uh, and then a bar pin. With chain. And then there's another little tiny rhinestone bracelet earring. I know, I think this must have been uh, part of a rosary. And speaking of rosaries, it is a rosary. And another one of those uh, bracelets. It's huge for a bracelet, but I don't know what else it would be. Ooh, this one says Sterling. It's a silver horn. It's so stuck in here. Oh, I got this plain bangle off. There's a lot of a lot of bangles in this one. Alright, let's see if I can ah. So this one said sterling there. It also says sterling there. So it's just the one with the horn. Maybe I have three of these. <laughs> I have two pairs of these. Hmm, two sets. Oh, Ban, I got this one, so I do have the brooch and the earrings for that. And is this the C? Oh, look how exciting. No, of course, the other C is buried somewhere. Let's see. Those are fun. And they are actually pierced. 
They need a nice, good bath. Oh. And these say Sterling. Um, they certainly need a good bath. And another Florida Lee. Oh, we have the other one of these. That one is not marked Sterling. I have no, oh, just a little ladybug. Another flag. Oh, this one's cute. It's not marked sterling or anything. Um, these are the freshwater pearls. Betty. Maybe it's for Betty Boop. One says 925 inside of it. Isn't this uh, Brighton? I think that's a Brighton, a Brighton bracelet. Korea. interesting because there are multiple things on it. I think that was the style. I know they're just part of a necklace, I think. I don't know. This one I think is also might be Brighton. Looks pretty worn though. Bracelet. I'll probably take that one apart. Broken. And. Doesn't say sterling or anything. It's looking. So. A nice little pearl bracelet. And a nice little pearl earring. And another earring. I don't see much. Oh, there was the other one of those. That, that was cute. Prayer hands. Uh, this one says Avon. And it is a unicorn. Oh. An S. Uh, I don't, I don't see anything. This one also says Korea. Oh, and there's a C, so I wonder if their initials were both B and C. Same thing. C. All right, I'm going to end it here. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything else really to report here. Got the earrings. I'm excited that both of them are in there. And um, it's resin pendant. It's really neat too. And of course the scarf clips. It's not in the best of shape, but I like it. So if you like this video, please like, um, subscribe if you like these types of videos and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.